Uh, I think symbolism sometimes matters more than uh, carefully worked out intellectual arguments. And the Madison struggle began, uh, and the Wisconsin struggle, because uh, it's very important to understand that it happened across the state. It was events in Madison, but every town in the state had demonstrations and rallies, uh, some of them strikingly large. And, uh, but one of the most powerful moments came very, very early on in the fight. Uh, the governor had done the classic move of trying to pit uh, both public sector workers versus private sector workers, but also trying to pit public safety workers against non-public safety workers. And so while the attack on collective bargaining rights uh, targeted snow plow drivers and teachers and nurses, police officers and firefighters were exempt. They got to keep their collective bargaining rights, they got to keep their pay, their benefits, their pensions. And so uh, the presumption, uh, if you think that we are really all about ourselves and nothing else, is that the police and firefighters would have said, well, it's a good week for us, and headed out and, and forgot about it. Instead, on uh, the second day of major rallies, a very, very large rally, uh, noon rally at the Capitol, um, there were people gathering, there were speakers speaking, and suddenly in the distance you heard bagpipes. And, uh, and then the crowd parted. This is a crowd of thousands. And through the middle of it marched uh, hundreds of uniformed firefighters with uh, bagpipers are associated with firefighter unions and have been for a long time, led by the president of their state union. They came to the stage and they said, you know, look, we're, we're um, exempt from this. This is not our fight, or we're so we're told. But as firefighters, we are trained not to run away from a crisis, but to run to it. And Governor Walker has attempted to set the House of Labor on fire, and we're here to put the fire out. And it was such a epic moment. I mean, this is the stuff of good movies. Um, that uh, I, I think that, that rippled out across the state. And I really do believe it had a huge impact on private sector unions, which would have been officially supportive, you know, would have given their endorsement, but might not have showed up. Uh, the sense of, but here you have people who are actually safe, they're protected, and they've come out. They're actually taking a risk, making themselves a target. And you started to see folks begin to show up and to get it.